Hi! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super duper cute, cute spaghetti strap sweetheart crop top. What you need to make this crop top is white fabric, um, less than half a meter. And you'll need about half a, half a meter or half a yard of black knit stretch fabric, jersey fabric. You'll need a zipper for the back if you want. You'll need scissors, you'll need a sewing machine, you'll need measuring tape, and you'll need fabric marker. And you'll also need a bra. So if you have a strapless bra, that would be perfect. Put on your strapless bra, and taking your measuring tape, you wanna decide how far down you want your top to come. Measure from the side of my strapless bra, and then decide how many inches underneath the bra you want the top to come. So in my case, I chose, I think, two, two or two and a half um, inches. Then you wanna take your bra off and put it on a piece of paper, and just trace your bra, okay? So you're not gonna trace the whole bra, you're just gonna trace the cups. Um, and you can basically start and finish at the binding of your bra, so right at the side where the cups are connected to the strap part of the bra. As you can see here, these darker lines is what I did to adjust it because I thought this is the original line, but I thought it was a little too um, much breast exposed, so I just did these lines to cover up. After you trace your bra, you want to basically add how many ever inches to the bottom of your bra. So in my case, I decided that I want my top to be two inches longer than my bra, right? So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna measure two inches underneath my bra and just mark it all the way across and then draw a connecting line, okay? You're not adding any seam allowance to this just yet. Now, after you have added your line underneath your bra and you've connected it, then you just wanna cut out the pattern, okay? Um, and don't worry if your adjustments are not even. So if you see, if, if you look at my pattern, you can clearly see that it's not even, but it's okay because there's a way to make sure that it is symmetrical in the end, okay? Now what you wanna do is just fold it in half. And you see, once you fold it, you're gonna have this part sticking up. So you just want to cut off this extra space, okay? And that's what's gonna make sure that it's completely even, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now when you fold it, there's nothing extra, it's completely even, okay? And that's how it should be. So that you know now it's completely symmetrical. To make the pattern for the back of your top, what you're going to need to do is and make sure that when you put the bra down that the straps are underneath the cups. So after you put the bra down on the paper, face up, you want to make a point at each end of the bra. Okay, so you want to make a point right here and a point right here. Okay, then you want to take your pattern for the front of your shirt and you want to take the edge of your pattern and line it up with one of the dots okay place it down on the paper and then trace the edge of the pattern um, and make sure that it's connected to that first dot right then you want to take um, the other end of your pattern and line it up with the other dot and then trace that end okay and after you've done that, you want to basically connect the, the two points at the top and then you want to connect the bottom of the two vertical lines that you made. So in the end, it should look something like this. Now what you want to do is you want to take two layers of fabric so you can either fold one long strip of fabric in half or if you just so happen to have scraps of fabric then you can just take two separate layers but the important thing is that you make sure that for the first layer the front of the fabric is facing up and then for the second layer that the front of the fabric is facing down. I hope that didn't confuse you. Um, if it did, leave a comment. 
Um, so then after you've done that, you want to put your pattern down. So the front of your top, you want to put it down on top of the two layers and you want to trace it. But make sure that when you put it down onto the two layers that you leave a little bit of space around the pattern because that's going to be for your seam allowance, okay? So then it should look like this after you've finished. Then, after you've cut it out, you want to sew along your line, okay? So along, in my case, it would be the white line. You want to sew along the white line. You're only going to sew the sides and the top, okay? You're not going to sew the bottom, all right? After you finish sewing the tops and the, the top and the side, you're going to just cut off that extra um, fabric, okay? And the reason why is because now we're going to turn this puppy inside out okay so you can turn it inside out like this it should look kind of like a pita like pita bread okay and now you see how we have this like neat professional look it looks like a very finished kind of um, edge so after you've done that after you've turned it inside out you want to just iron it flat so you want to repeat this step um, for the other pattern for the back of your shirt so you want to take the back pattern, place it down on your fabric, trace it, and cut it out. Now this time, when you leave seam allowance, you only need to leave seam allowance on the top and the bottom of the pattern, but not on the sides. You want to take your first pattern, so the front of the shirt, and you want to place it so that the top of the pattern is facing up. And then you want to take your second pattern, so the back of the shirt, and you want to place it on top of the first pattern. So make sure that the two right sides are facing each other. Line it up at the top, and you want to pin the edges together, and you want to just sew it. It should look like this, okay? And then insert your zipper, okay? If you don't know how to insert a zipper, leave a comment. And that's basically it you guys this top is super cute and it's not very difficult to make so um, let me know what you guys think let me know if you made it and how it came out and as always don't forget to check out my other videos and click that thumbs up button